Hey, good morning, everybody from here. The wifey will be with me in just a second. I don't know what she's doing. Already. Been a long month. Good month. Fun month. Hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. And we just thought we'd sit here and chat for a while. <laughs> so what is new with you? Oh, by the way, can you guys hear me? Okay, I got a microphone. Last time people were complaining that there was a buzz. Sounded like a, uh, what do you call it? Smoke alarm going off. So I inked up and bought another microphone. Let me know if that's good or not. Hey, Bill. Take a, oh, take a mean. Okay. You hear me good? Cool, cool, cool. We don't want any distractions. <laughs> China, my man, what's up? Five by five, loud and clear, better. No more chirping, no more crickets, no more beeping. Good. Thank you very much. Awesome, 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 awesome. Um, how was everybody's Thanksgiving? Good? Bad? Indifferent? Clark wishes he was here. I don't blame you, brother. Raymond, thanks for coming along. Hi, Greg from Australia. Sounds good. Awesome. That makes me very happy. Hey, hey. Video, audio, good. What do you know? Finally got it right. <laughs> Four years later. <laughs> oh, nice to see you. Thank you very much. Yeah, the meet and greet was a lot of fun. At its moments. <laughs> good in Michigan. Well, if it's good in Michigan, it's it's good for me. Let's see. I'm getting lots here. David. Oh, here we go. You'll be here next year. Well, good for you, Saul. Better call Saul. Let's see. What's this say? Bill Betts. Oh, okay. You guys are speaking with each other. Cool. Hi there, Margaret. How you doing? After watching my last interview. Oh, yeah. Cool. Chad's a nice guy. I changed the thumbnail on that like five times. <laughs> Nobody was clicking on it. So I don't know what, what went wrong. But anyway. Good morning to you, David. Good New Jersey. Peaceful Thanksgiving. That's good. We had a nice time. We went to Critter Republic. There was about, I don't know, Justin, the uh, the Critter man himself, he put on a big thing. And there was about 70, 80 people there. So it was a lot of fun. Good food. Good friends. Good times. We enjoyed ourselves immensely. Massachusetts, it's here. My life tie. Hi. China Dave, will you do a live? Yeah, I got to ask. Um, my friend Mike has some, uh, what do you call it, members. I did a members only thing so I could do lives for just members for the <clears throat> super ridiculous price of 99 cents. I know, it's a stretch. But anyway, um, that was the only reason I did it. And I can't figure out how to do it members only without it going live this way. So um, Mike said he did it and he did it wrong and it got all goofy and then he figured it out. So when I get an opportunity, I'm going to get with him and have him show me what button to push, where and when. So it comes off right. But yeah, I want to uh, do more members only videos. I'm having fun with those. I've only done a couple, but um I think it allows me a little more freedom, I guess. Summerlin, my own town over there on Copper Knoll. That's where I lived, Mr. Vegas. It's good in the Carolinas. Good to hear. St. Petersburg, watching your channel. Well, thank you very much, William. You celebrate things? Yes, yes. We can buy a turkey here. They're a lot of money. 
but we went to a uh, little soiree over at Critter Republic. Justin had a deal. Let's see. I make the permanent move to Asia next month. Wow. I just did an interview with a guy named Chad Foster. He's my latest video, and he's been here a year now. And um, very, very interesting interview. I hope you guys watch it. <clears throat> yeah, the helmet day got canceled. The governor called it off due to weather, and it was bright and sunny all day. <laughs> and so it's now scheduled for December 1st. <laughs> Poor Goldfinger. He was just losing his mind. <laughs> uh, let's see. Paul, are you going to visit Makati? I would love to try Makati. Check it out. I heard it's very, you know, upscale. But uh, if the budget allows, yeah, we'll do that. After watching your last interview, I believe it's a great time for all of you in the Philippines to start saving every single month. Or a medical emergency. Oh, okay, that's with Jules. That was the Jules interview. Yeah. Um, I have self-insured since the day I got here. And if you can find affordable health health insurance, that's a good idea, too. Um, unfortunately, at my age, the <clears throat> best I can do is Medicare and uh, Part A and B, which I've kept since the beginning for almost five years now. Four years, something like that. Um, but I check policies, man, and it's like 600 bucks a month ugh, with some big ass deductible. So, yeah, save money and uh, have it set aside. Everybody needs an emergency fund. Uh, will I be sharing my weight loss story? I will. In fact, I fasted all day yesterday. Funny you should mention that because in October, I went off the reservation. Um, and we were just doing a lot of meeting and greeting, not just the meet and greet, but we were just meeting and having lunch and whatnot with a lot of different subscribers. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, for some reason, I just said, ah, what the hell? <laughs> so I had a hamburger and a pizza and a this and a that. And then Thanksgiving, I had pumpkin pie. And I got to tell you, um, I felt like hell. I gained, I think, six or seven pounds in October and first part of this month. So yesterday I fasted 24 hours. I still haven't eaten. I may fast today also. And already I feel better. Still on May today. I said, man, I already feel so much better. Um, I can't tell you how bad sugar and carbs are, at least for me. And I indulged in them. And uh, it was kind of an experiment. And uh, one day, um, I'll do a, a deal about my weight loss. Yeah. Greetings. 27 degrees and snowing in Iowa. Yikes. Almighty. Let's see. Mark Sullivan. Paul, what's the overall attitude towards weed in the Philippines? Can one walk around smoking a duber without getting thrown in jail? No, you can't. If uh, <clears throat> they take drugs extremely, extremely seriously here. And, um, I've never been a pot smoker. Um, a lot of my friends are. I know guys get weed here and use it, um, but it's done in privacy and secret and everything else. So now, Thailand, you can walk around smoke joints. I saw that when I was there. How many YouTubers showed up to your meet and greet? Was that held in Valencia or Dumaguete? <coughs> in my throat. Um, it was held in Dumaguete at a place called Sideways, and we had, gosh, we probably had 10 different bloggers there, and maybe 100 guests. Someone said 300, but I think that's too much. Um, but there was probably, I'd say a good 10 bloggers showed up, and everybody had fun. Everybody got to, um, they ran out of water, they ran out of potatoes. Sideways wasn't quite ready for it, even though I stopped by the day before. And I said, you better watch out, pal. I think there's going to be a lot of people here. And he said, well, you didn't really advertise for it. I said, well, I did a short. And um, other guys were spreading the word. So anyway, we had a good time. And um, 
I met a couple of new bloggers from Cebu. Got a funny story about that. I'll tell you in a minute when my wife gets here. Hello from General Sand. We finally got back here. Loved your YouTube on paperwork for marriage. Yeah. Just went through it all from the U.S. Embassy and finally got the license. Congratulations. What a drill. Two days ago, May and I went down to the LTO. That's the, uh, uh, what's it called? Land Transportation Office. Same as the DMV. And we got our plastic driver's licenses. For three or four months, we've had paper licenses. And now we finally got our plastic. And there were about six or 700 people um, in line to get it. And they only gave out 150 because there's all kinds of plastic shortage. That's too bright, baby. Yeah. I think, is that better or worse? Now turn the, turn the other one off, honey. No, yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Hey, Paul, love your channel. American watching from Odessa, Ukraine. No missiles tonight. God bless all of you. Keep up the good work. Love, baby May. Warren, God bless you out there in Ukraine. What a tragic, tragic thing that is. Good Lord. Hey, Paul, coming in January to stay. Looking forward to seeing you around. Well, good on you, Don. Let's do it. <laughs> What did I do for Thanksgiving? I went to Critter Republic and had dinner with the uh, wifey over here. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hi, you doing? Not really. Do they have Black Friday is the question. Not really. Online they do. Um, I ordered some shoes from, what do you call it, Amazon. And they say they tried to deliver it three times, which is nonsense, because I was here at all the times they prescribed that they came by. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But, yeah, there's um, the Amazon sale. I looked at the new Samsung phone on Amazon, um, actually an S23. They're coming out with the S24. So I thought maybe the S23, I've got a 21, would be a good buy. And it wasn't bad, but they wanted to be ready for this. $652 for import fees. Shipping was free. <laughs> but geez, 650 spoons. Let's see. Morning from the Netherlands. Did Goldfinger start his own YouTube channel or did he come to meet all the YouTube tubers? Goldfinger came here to um, retire and live the life. And he couldn't get in during the pandemic, so he went to Thailand, where we hooked up with him. Because we went to Thailand, and he was there at the same time. <clears throat> and he's been a subscriber and a supporter forever. We became friends. And he shipped a bunch of ballot buying boxes to our old place. And uh, we've been hanging out ever since. So I don't think he's got any aspirations to start a YouTube channel. He just likes to jump on mine. <laughs> and I'll be vlogging his helmet giveaway. Good morning, Lee. Good morning from New Zealand. Cool. Dave is here from Salem, Oregon. Norway. Right on. I thought Medicare was only good in the United States. Good evening. Yeah, it is only good in the United States. Um but I keep it because if I figure if I get a long-term illness, something critical, something chronic that's going to take long-term care, I could always go there. <clears throat> Someone told me the other day that in Thailand they were able to use their Medicare. There's some kind of loophole. I don't know about that. I could also go to Guam and get help. Uh, but as far as an emergency, like if I broke an arm or a leg or anything like that, the medical treatment here is sufficient enough and affordable enough that it's if i put a pencil to it it's just cheaper for me to set aside money every month for that very reason let's see here oh yeah great job paul for all you did for derek i and ken that was i honest to god i haven't heard back from derek what the resolution was i got a text or an email this morning from somebody saying thanks for all the help because 
I'm a liaison with the embassy, and they were having issues with this gentleman. Um, but they haven't given me any personal feedback, so I'm assuming everything went okay because I sent some emails off to my uh, my uh, one of the deputies there, and he got involved in the case. So I'm glad that got resolved. It's always a good feeling to help one of your fellow humans. Good old Panorama oh, City's here. That's I lived on Clearfield Avenue. I was to go back there, I wouldn't recognize the place. I got a feeling. Do you use Medicare there? Yeah, private insurance. I don't have any insurance. Uh, I myself insure. I kept my Medicare, both A and B, and um, I can't use it here if I wanted to. I couldn't make a file a claim. But like I was just explaining earlier, if I went back to the States, I could use it. And that's why I keep it. Well, hi there, George. I like watching videos on YouTube, but I find it sad to see these retired men having babies with young women. Knowing very well, children will never get to know their father for decades after they are gone. Well, to each his own, I don't disagree with you, Greg. I don't think it would be fair for me to have a child. Um, I'm almost 70 myself. Um, but uh, it's up to God, you know? I mean, a life's a life. And um, if you leave your significant other in good financial condition, um, our friend Dave and, uh, uh, oh gosh, I spaced his wife's name, Dave Weisboro, he recently passed away. And he was very well off. And um, he's left his little baby Jack with her and um, they're doing fine. Of course, they miss him. But I think the travesty is if you leave them financially incapacitated. That's a real crime. But, you know, to each his own. Let's see, Paul, are solar panels overpriced? I've never priced them. Um, I think they're probably a pretty good value out here. Somebody was, I think Greg and Wilma are going to put, uh, they're doing a building project, if you know them. I think they're going to do solar panels. And I'm starting to see more and more people do the solar panels. Paul, when will you stop smoking? So smokers gain weight after stopping. Um, That's a good question. Um, I'll stop when I stop, I suppose, if I stop. Cocoa Beach, Florida is checking in. Why do Filipino women always look for whitening cream? I don't know. We want to win. love them for their skin tone. It's an inferiority complex. It's got different levels to it. Number one, um, most of the actresses that you see on TV out here are white or light skinned. So, light skinned is associated sort of with social status. If someone is really dark, it means that they have a, a, an outdoor job, like working in the fields and all that. Yeah. And so it's really more of a social thing. It's not like good and bad, like black and white, uh, one's good and one's evil. It's not like that at all. But it's just, you know, we always want what we can't have. I want a nice suntan, and she wants to be, you know, white as a Korean. <laughs> white like attractive. Attractive. Yeah. Yeah. Filipino, he wants to use the They think it's attractive. Yes, in flames. The, yeah, in flames. Oh, you're talking about the, the carbs and the sugar. Sure, shit does. Pardon my French. But uh, the first thing I noticed when I started my diet two years ago, going carb and sugar free, was how my uh, joints and everything worked better. And I was complaining to her the other day how my neck hurt <laughs> because I've been eating all kinds of carbs and sugars because I just went off the reservation. Had yeah, kind of an experiment for one and just laziness on the other. And we were being very social. We were going out with this person, yeah. that person, going to this place, going to that place. Mm -hmm. And you're hungry and you don't want to be the only one not eating. So there's a little pressure there, I guess, peer pressure. But anyway. Now, some great news. Yeah, it's the great news. 
What's the great news? You got great news? Uh, Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. Good morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, the that's, the big, that's the big thing out here, Christmas. Hi, Canada. How are you? Next time you reverse onto a ship, can you get your little finger to help you? We need a good laugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boy, hold on. Put those cars and those ferries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She let Goldfinger just do it. Mm -hmm. It'd be fun to watch. <laughs> it's cold there in Emirate, Michigan. Mm -hmm. It's hot here. How is your TRT coming along? I still do TRT, and it does just great by me. Hey, Paul from Tacoma, Washington. It was nice to meet you and Baby May back in honest August. Well, thank you, Jeff. Always good to meet you, too, and anybody. Subscribers, we love it. We went to a Thanksgiving dinner, and uh, four or five women wanted to meet May. They were yeah. really excited to meet May. Yeah. No one talked to me, but everybody wanted to talk to May. <laughs> but in, with Ingrid. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the so meet, meet and greet. She has a... <laughs> yeah. Can we tell them the meet and greet story? Yeah. Okay, here comes the meet and it's greet so, story. It's so, funny. so May was sitting down. Mm -hmm. To my right, I was standing up. Mm -hmm. My friend Monty was parked in his stand behind mm -hmm. us so he could see the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And a female blogger um, came running up to me mm -hmm. and gave me a hug and a kiss. And Monty was watching the whole thing. And he said he watched me, who was smiling mm -hmm. like this. And the minute the kiss hit my cheek, mm -hmm. May went. <laughs> Your hair got on fire. So, anyway, that came and went. But on the way home, on the drive home, this is what I heard. Hi, Paul. That's all she did was mock me. Yeah, and then I, <laughs> said, I didn't do it. <laughs> what? And then I asked you, what if I'm knowing that what I felt? Yeah, here's the deal on all that stuff. Is, she goes, how would I feel? Personally, it wouldn't bother me that much because it's normal in America to do, you know. I don't know. We got weird, got a little fuzzy, huh? Um, it's the public perception of public affection. So if I'm seen with another woman or she's seen with another man, they don't really care about the interaction as much as what will people think. I pose all dating that girl or they whatever. It's, you know. It's the Philippines. May, thanks for introducing us to so many beautiful women. Boy, she knows stuff, doesn't she? Yeah, we are getting faded Michael. here. Why is this thing fading? Yeah, I think it needs a... No, it's not the light, it's the camera. The Maybe light. it needs to be clean. Well, if I, if I fly to where you live, what is the place to visit to find you in other... Four? Oh, just go to Ground Zero. Oh, yeah, We're getting fuzzy here for some reason. I don't know, my... Webcam might be getting fun. You know, it's very humid in here. So give me the love wiper, maybe, please. A little alcohol. We'll try to clean off the lens here. Um, it's kind of humid in the house. It's been raining. So, yeah, um, Ground Zero is kind of like the place that people go to meet and greet. Yeah, let me just try. Hold on, guys. I'm going to try to clean off the lens on this puppy. Well, yeah. better. Yeah, it's good. Is it better? Yep. I don't know. Okay, good. Yeah, it's human in here. Uh, I'm sure the dogs are doing. Are you spoiling them rotten? I'm sure you are. Yes, we are. Come here. Come here, you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. There's Tada. Yeah. Uh, ta -da, ta -da, the wonder dog. Oh, you pick up her. And there's you. Let's go. Oh, you need to walk part of it. You need to get in the action. Here. Yay. Hold on a second. Let me get that. Yes, I know. It's yeah. so right. It's my. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll hold the doggies. Good morning. How are Richie. you, Richie? 
our pal Richie. Hey, Paul, have you heard of new changes for Social Security? May is beautiful as always. Thank you not so much. What a truer words ever spoken. <laughs> uh, changes to Social Security, all I heard was there was a small bump, 3.2, as far as that goes. Um, the what did you call it? Cola increase. Big Dog and Baby May. Mike from Colorado saying hi. Hi to Colorado, Mike. Are the colds really going around in your area? In my area in the U.S., they really have coughs and runny noses right now. Yeah, there always seems to be some kind of bug going around here almost at all times. We were, May was down for, what, what the last two days? May was sick. Yesterday yeah. and the day before. Yeah, you started. She had a backache real bad, and then she had a migraine. So, I don't know. And then there's always, guys, congestion, a lot of congestion out here, um, nonstop. And guys do get sick out here a lot, not just me. Let's see, good morning from California. Do you have, I got my turkey fix in. Yes, and it was delicious. Greetings from Dave and Melanie, currently in Manila. Right on, yeah. Lieutenant Dave. 3.2%. Yeah, that's it. That's all we get. They figure that wrong. They use the wrong um, formula, but oh well. They didn't put me in charge, so I can't fix it. <laughs> Paul, you need to start wearing a hat to protect against the sun in the Philippines. You're probably right about that, too. You can do a lot of things. Good morning, Anna's Light. How are you, Anna? Here in Canada, we have a bit of snow. How's the weather there? It's raining a lot. And then it's sunny, and then it's raining. Yeah. And then it's sunny, and then it's raining, which is causing humidity. The only place I've been where it rains and it's still hot. Let's see. Hey, Paul, I love your vids, your sense of humor, and humility. I am in Fort Lauderdale. Do you have an email address? I don't have a social media. I work for Social Security. And, oh, cool. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll say it real slow. And then I'll put it in the description box when this thing's over. Um, P M C G I L L, the number five, at Gmail, all lowercase. And I'll toss it in the description when this is over. It has to process, and then um, I'll be able to make changes to it. But thanks for that. Yeah, if you work for Social Security, that's great. I love my hot rods. Can I bring my 1929 Malay coupe hot rod to the Philippines? Boy, that would cost you an arm and a leg. Importing cars, bikes, stuff like that. Cost prohibitive, from what I understand. <clears throat> Visited the Philippines for years with my Filipina ex-wife of 17 years. They are still a good choice for marriage cakes. Yes, Filipinas, I believe, make great wives. As I can attest to right here. Paul, $40,000 later in four years wishing I'd have known you before CDO City. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> you burn through the 40K. <laughs> You're not the only one. Morning from Australia. You're up early. We are up early every day. We are early risers and early to bed. Hi, Paul and May, turning 62 Wednesday. I already signed up for Social Security. So hopefully in a year or less, I will be there. Just need to tie up some loose ends first. God bless. That's the way to go, Joe. Make sure you do that Social Security while you're at the States. It makes life so much simpler. <clears throat> Unfortunately, she stopped cooking and cleaning. <laughs> so I stopped marrying. Next. Good to see you, two of you. You look good together. Thanks a lot, Joe. We stop doing it. Having <laughs> <laughs> kids can help us. Old guys. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you leave a legacy, um, again, personally, I wouldn't want to have a kid. I wouldn't be able to be the father I would want to be and see, see it through to the end. Um, I don't think it's fair in my condition to do that. But uh, whatever anybody wants to do, man, is up to God, right? 
A retired man has more time to spend with his child than a working man who is constantly at work. That's a very solid point. That is a very, very good point. It's just for how long. The, good morning, Paul from Cold Oregon. Is there a Filipino food or fruit that you like or find interesting? I got to say no. Chicken uh, soup. You like? You know, chicken soup. Yeah. I like chicken soup. Is that a Filipino food? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> For the way, chicken soup is Filipino. So that I like. <laughs> Hello to you, both of you. I'm 47. No health problems. No bad habits. I have a $1,200 a month income. Do you think I'd make it there? And also, do you know whatever happened to the blind guys that was living there from the U.S.? All of the blind guys are still here. They're all doing well, and they're moving and grooving, and have girlfriends, and rocking and rolling. Um, 1200 a month depends on your... Oh, that's such a hard question. Um, I think I could do it. If I was single or even married, I think May and I could do it for twelve hundred. But the the biggest thing is to have a good stack, you know, before you get over here, because there's a lot of big expenses that you'll have. Um, if you're going to buy any kind of transportation, a motorbike or a car, you're going to have your first, last, all that on an apartment or a house. Um, you might need to buy furniture. There might be stuff you need to get. Um, and that can be expensive. Um, but if you're if you're just small, you know, I mean, there's apartments. Yeah. Those apartments by Monty where we went were $200 a month. Yeah. They're little one-bedroom apartments, clean, you know, everything. You have that balcony. Have a nice balcony. Um, so, yeah, you can pull it off. I live on, uh, we live on about 2000 a month. We were living on 15 forever, and then it just bumped up because of inflation. Um, as long as you just, you know, if you're if you're getting 12, spend a thousand, and that can be a stretch. Let's see, how much money is deducted from your paycheck for A and B? A uh, hundred and seventy dollars. If you not earn anything from Reza, is she doing okay? Does she have a job? Reza's going to college. Yeah. And we see Reza all the time, especially when there's food involved. Always <laughs> present. <laughs> <laughs> she always shows up for the, for the events where there's food, food included. Yeah. Reza's doing fine. The kids are doing good. It was nice to see Jenny at the meet and greet. Yeah. A lot of people at the meet and greet. Yeah. 80 and did 300 push-ups yesterday. Wow. Good for you. Do you have original Medicare and pay for a supplement or are you on a Medicare? I'm on Medicare A and B. I didn't get any supplemental insurance over the above that. Jam our desk. Salutations for Tennessee. I didn't come here to judge others. Sorry I missed you all last night. Oh, we're sorry we missed you too. And thank you very much for the super chat. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had a couple of people really pissed that I didn't meet with them. They got ugly, not you, but some other people that just got sideways and they said they wanted to meet me. And I said, well, I can't because I've already got plans. And man, they just chewed me out like you wouldn't believe. Hard to please everybody. I mean, greetings from. I don't know how to say that. Ash Tabula. Well, we enjoy the Ohio. We enjoy the vids. Well, thank you very much. We enjoy doing them. Why do white women tan? It works both ways. Everybody wants to be so I know. I men as white guys, we want to be have a nice tan because it looks like we're healthier, outdoorsy, and all that kind of stuff. And the Filipinas, they want to be white as good and snow. Go figure. Medicare Advantage, I do not have. No. What's up, crazy gang? That's what I say. What is up with all you crazy people? 
Interesting show. Hello from Los Angeles. I was just browsing YouTube and saw your show, so I'm doing a drive-by. 75. So I may fit into this crowd. I've been thinking about a move to southern Mexico. Yeah, you definitely fit into this crowd at 75. And southern Mexico, nothing wrong with that. Bud Brown's going down there. Talked to him the other day. He's doing good. Paul, would you like... Uh, Paul, would you like to see you, Goldfinger, do a video together where you are walking around the community talking to local Filipino people? I get a good laugh. Everybody loves Goldfinger because he is such a character. So, yeah. Um, the next time you see Goldfinger will be after or on December 1st because that's when he's doing his helmet giveaway. And then I promise there will be more Goldfinger in the future. Mm -hmm. Did you stay overnight? No, we didn't. Um, it's just, what, 20 minutes away? Um, May won. May won the raffle. They were giving away, we didn't win this one. They gave away a, a one-night stay there. But May won a uh, diving, yeah. free diving. Yeah, yeah. They called her name up. Yeah. Problem is, she can't swim. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I said, that. no problem. Just put her in the water. She'll sink like a rock. <laughs> put a snorkel on her, and that'll be that. But, um I think they're going to start swimming instructions there. I was talking to one of the instructors. And so since she's got the little ticket, um, I think that would be a good exercise for her just to, just to try it in the pool with an instructor. And with me, everything is mental. You know, driving a, a scooter, she didn't think she could do it. Now she zips up and down the yeah, road with a friggin' dog. So it's just overcoming that mental block that she gets. What's up, Cat Diddy? Looking good. Jules. Yeah, there he is, the man, the myth, the legend, my hero. What's going on, Daddy? I just spoke to your wife a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> Jules and I got a little secret something going on right now, but we're not going to talk about it until it's over. Let's see. Good morning from, I can't say that again. Sabu, with all these fiestas coming, it's hard to keep the diet going. I hope you guys are doing well. That's a fact. Boy, these fiestas were like we couldn't go to town yesterday, yesterday because of the fiesta. So they blocked off all these roads and stuff because they were doing their parades, which yeah. is fine, which is why I love living here because we got our own little community. And if we need anything, 7 Eleven or a store or a coffee shop, not really a coffee shop, but you know. Um, we can we, we don't have to go into town necessarily and i avoid traffic there she is my I favorite have... canadian lady in the whole wide world how are you i just came back from a 10k walk around in three celsius weather here in calgary good for you i think that's going to be my resolution i'm going to start walking Hello and happy belated Thanksgiving to you, Paul and May from St. Cloud. Thank you very much. Thank and happy you. Thanksgiving to you. <laughs> Keep up the show with Goldfinger. <laughs> Goldfinger needs to start a channel. <laughs> yeah. He really does. <laughs> What's up, Kat? You're the one that's looking good, Daddy. Strutting stuff. Pretty soon you'll be throwing that cane away and running another marathon. Hey, Jules. Yeah, shout out to Jules. Oh what do you think of AFA Tours? I don't know what AFA Tours are. Is that that dating thing? I don't know anything about it. Yet. I'm sorry. China Dave, we're having a little conversation here. Hag Paw. Hag Pag. What's that? Bug, what's, what's I don't know. I don't know. Bug, bug. Okay, you stumped the band. We don't know what that is. Sorry. Let's see. If you want to meet Paul, knock on his door, then knock on his window. He loves that, especially when he's napping. You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Bug, 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 bug. Hello, Jadon. Yay. 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 Cheers to you. Day of dogs. Yeah, it's another dog day afternoon here in the Philippines. Hi, Paul. Thanks for your response on the email 
for a week ago. I hope you'll be staying in the Philippines. Big love to you both, Denmark. Thank you very much. Yeah, I have to apologize because sometimes I get lost in the mix on a lot of the emails. Sometimes I write the wrong one to the wrong person, but you know, I do my best. Hello from Philly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. The like button. The like button. I don't know why. It's a tradition. We ask you to hit the like button on our live streams. We never ask people to subscribe. We never ask people to like. We never ask people to share yeah. on our videos. Yeah. But hey, on our live streams, we're big on tradition. And if you do, you know the drill. Bend at the knees and hydrate. We do not want any injuries. Who are these dogs going down? <laughs> you bring back John, Dean, and Harriet. Harriet, I would love to have Harriet back on the channel, but she's a troll, so I can't bring her on. Dean, um, I spoke to Ed Schwartz is over there with Dean. Dean's looking good, uh, but I don't know what he's doing on social media. And John, I called him two days ago and wished him a happy Thanksgiving, and he's doing fine. He's just waiting to, um, he's getting his social security check. I think his first one is December and he's coming back to here in January. And I told him that I would love to get together with him and his lovely family. And man, I would take him out to dinner when he arrives. His triumphant return. <laughs> Selling my house in 18 months when I get to my, when my 401k matures, will not have Social Security for eight years, but we'll have 430000 in the bank. Hope to have half left by 67. <laughs> Just be cool, man. Just be cool with it. Figure it out. Let's see. What do you got? Eight years? That should do it. I hope. Do you have any vacations planned? Oh, uh, yeah. We sure do talk about vacations a lot. We don't seem to take them. Something always seems to pop up. We're going to probably put that off until next year you know we got christmas coming yeah um the holidays we were we've been doing knucklehead stuff uh that's important so i got my 13a visa but my application is still in Cebu. it went to manila it's a long story but it's a three-month process if you believe that i dropped my passport off to jr jr took care of it sent it to manila manila has to run a background check on Surprisingly, I passed, and then it went back to Cebu, and then it's got to sit there in Cebu for three weeks. That was a week ago. So hopefully in two weeks, I will have my 13A visa, and I will be a resident of the Philippines. And that way, traveling in and out makes my life a lot simpler. I won't, I think, I got to clarify this with JR. I don't think I need a, uh, a throwaway ticket when I come back. And I'm pretty sure I don't need an exit clearance before I go. So those would be two big benefits right there. Just the hassle factor. Um, anyway, but, so yeah, travel, that's definitely on our list. Uh, May wants to go to Disneyland. Yeah. Uh, but I think our first trip would probably be Kuala Lumpur. Because mm -hmm. it's close, it's metropolitan, it's... Uh, it's got a big variety. I've never been there, so check that out. And then as deals come along, you know, super saver flights and stuff like that, that kind of dictates what we do with our budget. <clears throat> so if we can go to Spain, we'll go to Spain. Hello from Savannah, Georgia. Hi. Beautiful country. Paul, how has your life changed being with me? Thanks. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you can. Come here, give me the dog. <laughs> you want to do it? Crazy. <laughs> uh, for the better, you know. It's um, it's 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 more fun to share life than just um, nothing wrong with bachelorhood, nothing wrong with being alone, nothing wrong with being single. I didn't come over here with the intention of of getting married and meeting somebody, but it happened. You know, you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. And so, yeah, everything is much, much better with me. Um, great woman. She's the woman that I always wanted to marry and finally did. So, 
Um, she makes my life easier. Hopefully, I make her life better. And I think that we complement each other very well. We hardly ever fight. <laughs> Are you using Skype or Magic Jack? I use Magic Jack. Cost me uh, two bucks a month. <laughs> and the only reason I have it, I never use it. I just have it so I have an American phone number for when I fill out a form. Call me. Any thoughts on how to hire a good contractor to build a two-story concrete home? And I can't pronounce it. You, you I can't, I'll just hire us with a, with a break around next few years. Well, <clears throat> no. If you ask me, I'll, I'm sorry. I'll take it back. Um, let's see. I'm sorry. Huh. Let's see, any good contractor to build a toothpick? No, but sorry. <laughs> I will make out session with my dog. Um, I don't, brother. I mean, referrals, you know, ask around, find somebody else that's done it. If you know how to build a house, you can hire labor and all that. But I would, um, there's a lot of steps to take before you build a house or buy land. Um, have a survey, make sure the title's clear, uh, have an attorney draw it up. <laughs> if you hire a contractor, make sure you get a lot of money up front, pay as you go. The best advice I can give. So I've watched others do it the other way and it end up well. Texas Filipino in the house. He was one of the major bloggers at the meet and greet. Thanks so much for coming on my friend. From Elo. Yep, Elo Elo. Yeah. My attorney, Saul Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul, started my day with y'all and still with you. Good for you. Long day. Got to go. Lots of boilers to log. Love the videos. Keep them coming. Hey, May, just found your sister's channel and subscribe. Cool. Wow, thank you. Yeah, that's Jane. I did a little video with her on it. Thank you very much. What's it called? Jane's Adventures? Jane Everything. Jane Everything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just did a video on it. It's very funny, that video. Yeah, it's a pretty funny video. I got a Skype number, and I had to pay for the phone number first, and I had to pay more money to be able to call the USA and receive voice messages. They want to give more money to send text messages. Yeah, that's, um, I looked at Skype, and it didn't float my boat, so I used uh, Magic Chat. I'm not fond of Filipino people. I was waiting when I'm there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I wish this dog liked me. <laughs> she wants to entertain so. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to lose weight when you don't like the food, brother. The Filipino men make good husbands. I think a lot of them make great husbands. Loving families, good guys. I know I'm making more and more male Filipino friends, which is cool. And uh, some of them are like, any other males, you know, they get drunk and go home and start swinging. So, um, I think, I think the, the pressure here on the men is tremendous. The pressure on the women is tremendous. So marriage, marriages are, are tough to begin with. And, uh, but from what I've seen, Filipino guys make just fine husbands. I mean, the guys living here, they're always out working in the, yeah. in the, in the, in the, in the yard yeah. and, and hacking trees and they Those work, man. Are... you know, they raise the kids, they put food on the table. So yeah, they're good guys. May, how has your life changed being with Paul? I'm so happy. You're so happy. Yeah, so much. Okay. Because that is what is good to take care of me. Should I take good care of you? Yeah. Okay. Well, there you have it. Did you buy your own AC unit and washing machine, or did your landlord supply it? My house came with an air conditioner, <laughs> which broke. <laughs> and we take our laundry to the laundry. They just have them do it. They wash it, fold it, fluff it, dry it. It's ready in four hours. Um, but you need a dryer more than a washing machine. Well, a washing machine. Anyway, I'm not a fan of them. You got to hook them up outside, and you got to that's to the water and it's kind of cumbersome. So for us, we just we just drop our stuff off the lot. 
you don't look over stuff to turkey hope all is well with you too everything is great may had turkey did you like the turkey yeah i like yeah yeah very tur delicious turkey and rice yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah good morning from minnesota good morning to you oh my. here is jamie what's going on buddy sending love i feel it sending it back your way brother May, keep growing your YouTube channel, make interesting videos. This is your pathway to buying land and building a house, bringing your followers along the journey. Absolutely. May's having a good month this month. He's had a lot of views. So um, we're kind of rethinking the YouTube thing for next year. Yeah. And we're making some, uh, I'm making some, uh, not adjustments, what's the word? Different. Yeah, um, uh, uh, it's hard to explain. Thank you, Brie. People anymore aren't happy unless they're pissed. I would tell you by associating with folks with that attitude. Yeah, um, I know a couple of guys like that. And I just avoid them. You know? I like funny. I like, if you're funny, I like you. You're welcome in my house any day of the week. The girls look uncomfortable wearing bikinis. Clearly, they are teenagers. Baby May is only care how to make money. Most of her videos doesn't make any sense well uh okay william that's kind of trolly but fine super sticker from uh oh, off the cup adventures with my friend jamie thank you very much my friend the u.s dollar is moving any thoughts i have noticed the peso is declining in value um it was gone down about a full point in this last week. Um, I don't really worry too much about things I've got no control over. So if it moves, it moves. Maybe it'll, you know, what goes up must come down, vice versa. It's interesting to me how many Filipinos don't know how to swim. They live on an island, they don't know how to swim. They're surrounded by the beach. But if you look, if I look at it logically, A lot of them live in the mountains, like May. So they, yeah. they know the beach is there. Um, but it's more of a menacing thing than an inviting thing. And so they can walk their ass off. <laughs> they can climb a tree. They can do all kinds of stuff. They can they can go get a coconut, but they can't swim. And it's just not taught or encouraged out here. And they can't afford to go scuba diving. For That's mostly a foreigner deal. Um, and swimming's just not a big thing out here. Uh, the only people with pools are foreigners. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think they just kind of take it for granted, to be honest with you. <clears throat> Have you ever been spending too much time on the boardwalk doing a video? We spend no time anywhere in the evening unless we just have to. Um, I know it's a lot of fun down there. I think the only way that me and I would spend the evening down on the boulevard is if we checked into a hotel yeah. on the boulevard, which is not unfathomable. I would like to do that sometime because I can't drive at night. Man. What, what, where, where did we go? We went to Arbor. We went to the restaurant. Yeah. We went with Paul and Mia. Yeah. Our friends Paul and Mia were in town, and then they, they split, and they had us. We went met them for dinner at 6 o'clock at night. And driving home, so hard to see. Um, people, it's just, it's trust me, I'm not comfortable. I'm a nervous wreck by the time I get. So we don't go out at night, and that's that's the primary reason. And plus, we're just day people. What's going on? I hope everything is well. I wish you nothing but blessings. Well, thank you so thank much. You. We wish you the same. God bless you. Hey, Paul, if I get to the Philippines, I'd like to follow a healthy diet. But I know Filipinos like to feed their friends. It's hard to follow a healthy diet. Or are you lucky to have baby May? Well, yes, of course, I'm very lucky to have baby May. And what I've done is I simply discovered a place that sells and will cut steaks. Yeah. We go to Bell Press. Yeah. And this was a long, arduous process. <laughs> <laughs> but I eat steak almost every night and then vegetables. And so May prepares vegetables and steak. Um, so that keeps me off the carbs and off the sugar. 
when I go out, I just don't eat. I just don't partake. I have water or a cup of coffee, and that's that. Um, and there's a, also, they call it chooks to go, but we go to a different place. But that's a whole rotisserie chicken. So sometimes we'll pick that up and have it. And if I go out to a restaurant, um, I might choose a salad, like a Greek salad. So I'm eating. I don't want to be rude. But the problem is when you go to someone's house and it's their birthday and they have cake mm -hmm. and they really get butt hurt if you don't <laughs> eat a piece of their cake. So it, it, it gets a little you know, stressful. Most expensive Thanksgiving ever. Could not find a turkey under 50 bucks. Wow. I heard turkeys going out here for 80. I don't know if that's true or not. Somebody was telling me they were. 4,000 pesos for a turkey. Um, and those are the frozen turkeys. Yeah. Now, the turkeys are running around out here. Um, but a frozen turkey was off the hook expensive. <clears throat> Did you guys actually cook a turkey? And so we didn't cook nothing. <laughs> we just went to Credit Republic and us and about 70 other people. And it was a buffet. And it had mashed potatoes. It had... Um, Stuffing, it had uh, sweet potatoes, rice, turkey, nice. gravy, pumpkin pie, and salad. So it was a nice little buffet. They ran out of mashed potatoes really fast, though. Not really, I would say, most of the Yeah, okay, so you're answering. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> Greetings from Milwaukee. Well, thank you, Peter. Hey, Jules, I definitely need to talk to you about some building details that you can talk in private. Well, there you go, Jules. Eric needs to talk yeah. to you. And Jules built a beautiful home, and he overbuilt the home, which you can't see, but I know it's there because I was going up there while he was building it, and he explained to me what he was doing. So that thing is typhoon-proof. It's earthquake-proof. It is solid, solid, solid. Um, and the shame is you can't see it, uh, unless you, you know, because it looks like a nice house when you walk in, yeah. it looks like this house. I mean, this house obviously isn't very nice, but as far as the walls and everything, they look the same, but these walls are crappy and his walls are like bulletproof. Um, the glass that he used, the materials that he used, all of it top caliber. Have you tried the fermented duck egg beluga? Yeah. Talk to her. <laughs> She'll eat seven in a row. Uh, if you like ten, it. She'll eat ten. <laughs> and the dogs eat it. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> but then you eat. You guys are disgusting. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Any news from Dean Dean, the lean rotating machine? No. I heard from Ed Schwartz, a friend of mine that's out there with Dean right now. But Dean didn't talk to me. What's up with that? Man, is it cold as hell here? I wish I was back there. I'll bet. I don't know where you are, man, but I know it's cold in parts of America. Or Canada, or wherever you're from. Does the Philippines culture remind you of a mix between Spain and China? Never been to China. Uh, been to Spain, and uh, it is, it, yeah, it does. It, it has got that Spanish. Of course, they were 1500s. Spaniards came here and did their thing. So yeah, I, I do see that. But I've never been to China, so I don't know. <clears throat> How long have you been in your current house? How long have we lived here? Three years. Yeah, I think three years. Give me three years. Yeah. We just can't leave. It's, it's not our dream. Um, it's very cramped, <laughs> cluttered, and uh, it's far from fancy, I'll tell you that much. But it does the job, you know, it parks the car and, and yeah. uh, holds a bed and a couch and TV. What else do you need? As you can see by our fancy background. <laughs> <laughs> Mar May, if you started, if you, here comes Goldfinger again. May, <laughs> if you start interviewing Goldfinger on your channel, you'll get massive views. And by land and cash, you don't call Goldfinger for no reason. Goldfinger, you think there you go. Now? How about we have 
may sit on Goldfinger's lap and he can play Santa Claus and ask him questions. What do you think? <laughs> hey, Howard, I hope to meet you too, brother. Let's see. Let's see. Met you and Mike and Janet briefly at Tom Tom's last September. Mm-hmm. Any more thoughts towards maybe moving back to the U.S.? Is that just a passing phase? Well, moving back to the U.S. is always on my radar, especially in older years. Um, I like to think that I'm not at older years yet, which is really wishful thinking. And, but no, I, I try to keep all things on the table, man. Um, we all want to take our women, as far as I know, to the States, if nothing else, to visit. And... Um, and to see the culture, see where we grew up, meet our families, whatever's left of them, and uh, just show them around town, man. Um, and then if we can get them acclimated there and get them citizenship and all that jazz, that's even icing on the cake because of the benefits. However, I do know for a fact that the logical thing here is to buy either a house or a piece of land here for me because this will always be our home. Uh, if we were living in America, Spain, Portugal, Argentina, you name it, uh, and I was to pass, May wouldn't stay in that country. I don't think you would stay in America if something happened to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I think she would come right back here where her family is. Yeah. But whatever she does, it's fine with me. Let's see, it was just reading about a company that was selling life at sea crews, three-year tickets. Oh, I can see. The company kept postponing departure. Turns out they had no boat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> at least Mark knew not to sell tickets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Early to rise, mm-hmm. bald dude. I've been up for three hours. Thank you for joining us. I got up at two. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the dog. Yeah, the dog. Yes, be cool, cerebral. Any plans to on an interview with an expat one year out? Just saying. I just did one. I just did one with Chad. Chad's been here a year. He's my latest video. He's up and running now. Can't send any money to you. The link is broken. I'm 100% crippled vet at 34. I'm moving to the Philippines in January. Love from Nebraska, snowing here. Well, you keep your money, buddy, and uh, God bless you. Thank you for your service, and uh, just may God's light shine on you. That's all I can say, my friend. And if you come to Duval in the near future, that would be very nice. I don't know about the vow. I heard that's uh, it's kind of strict over there. Yeah, no smoking. No smoking. That's a problem. <laughs> you need to be high. <laughs> Yeah. I've got to take away to Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely. She actually saw some pretty, pretty uh, dialed in places in Thailand. Yeah. You know, the market, yeah. you know, the stores and the aisles and the fruit and everything. Yeah. So she kind of got a taste of it already. Um, I think she'd get a kick at Walmart with people. <laughs> William Abrams, Paul loves the glory hole. Oh, come on. He's one in every crowd. Let's see, I asked JR, once you have the marriage visa, you won't need an exit clearance and a throwaway ticket. Oh, cool. Yeah, I thought that's what it was, but I always like to verify and clarify. Uh, and I'm actually asking again, when I go back in there just to triple check, because the last thing I want to do is leave the country, come back, and I say, where's your throwaway ticket? I heard they had to have her with me in order to eliminate the throwaway ticket. But if I come back by myself, I need one. That's what I heard. It doesn't make any sense. But hey. You once said you didn't like the food there. Have you adapted somewhat? What foods do picky eating foreigners manage to force down first? Or do they just live on fruits and breads? Well, it depends on where you live. Right here, you can find American and European cuisine all day long. You can go to Latino and yeah. have paella. Why not? Why not? Sorry. You can get all kinds of food there. I mean, just beautiful food. Mm. Hideout. Uh, hideout. Got a great chili cheese dog. Mm. Double cheeseburger. Um, 
where is that uh Ascentia, is it was called with no, that's the hotel um Ar arbor arbor we ate at arbor Bar. very nice cuisine red uh, table red table <laughs> if you want a good breakfast not mm. fancy but a great you know american very breakfast good. pancakes eggs bacon potatoes five bucks mexican mexican yeah. she's right mexicana it's uh, very good. delicious great burrito yeah. burritos I'm, how much was that burrito you bought me? i forgot yeah. Ready, buy it. Oh, you ready, buy it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they told me, Paul is my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Paul. I'm May Candy is coming over in August to go around Queensland, Australia, 4x4, four four, and off road camp will been to Mindoro, Rusty Mindoro. Candy Adventures. Cool. You're sending more six more ballot buying boxes. <laughs> okay, Jerry. Rock on, Daddy. Uh, hello from South Florida. I'm planning to retire in two years at 57. Wow, good for you. And my wife and I are considering a trip to see if we would want to retire in the Philippines and considering Jumagetti or Elo for a visit. Well, Elo's very, very nice. Yeah. Very cosmopolitan, very modern, very health conscious, very clean. Clean. I love the cleanest it. city in all of the Philippines. Uh, they take great pride. And so I think, you know, I don't like condo. Living. So that's what I saw. It was like 80% condos, and maybe 20% houses like I'm used to. And May and I don't like going up and down elevators, all that stuff. So, but that's just us, you know? So I, I think both choices are good. Yeah. Elo, Duma, everything's got its, got its, Pluses and minuses. What is the best two or three months to visit the, the Philippines? Um, let's see, I got here. I would think like February, March. It's hard to tell, and I'll tell you why it's hard to tell. The weather patterns are changing. You've noticed that around the world, and it's changing here. So right now it's rainy season. Yeah. It's rain. But I think come February, March, January, yeah. March, March, summer. I think it kind of mellows out. Um, then you get June, July, August, man, it's hot. Um, so the temperature here is generally hot and hotter mm. and drier or wet. And the wet season um, has, has sort of changed. So, I don't know, in, in January, February, March, it rained every single solitary day last year. So I'm telling you to come out in February and March, but it was an anomaly. It was just raining cats and dogs. So hard to answer that. Maybe a good question from Google. <laughs> yeah. Little Google. Like me. Yeah. And her asking Google questions. Uh, that's a comedy mm -hmm. show. Hi, Paul. May is traveling with you. You might need a return ticket. Cool. See, there you go. That's what I thought. Thank you, Robert. That's what I heard. I think Jennifer Terry, I was watching her, and she said this exact same thing. If May is traveling with me, I don't need a return ticket. Throwaway ticket. If you want to re-enter the Philippines by yourself, you will need an ongoing ticket. And you know what you need? A guy that either ask you for it or doesn't because it's kind of 50 50 there too it just depends on the gate agent but it's worth it to me to go ahead and get it thanks for that man because that's what i heard and it doesn't make any sense because well, well. <laughs> B. thank you very much b appreciate you i told candy she's going to try a rat's cough and Aussie slang meat pie. Okay. She believes it's a rat, so I think I'm getting the pollute. <laughs> <laughs> Am I too old to move down there at 71 years young? Find a wife. No? Not at all. Do you have any plans to do some travel around the Philippines and see other places to live? Be a great we you know what, buddy? Um, that's a good question, and we've done that. <laughs> but we just have a video of it. 
Because when we go, I don't want to be thinking about YouTube. When we go, I just want to enjoy myself. I just yeah. want to go on vacation. I don't want to have to be somewhere at 10 o'clock and then try to get this, and worry about the light, set up the camera, all this, that, and the other. Because YouTube's kind of a hobby for us. And yeah. We do it for fun. We do it for, um, you know, video diary. We do May never stops videotaping wherever we go. So she's got a million clips of everywhere we've been, but she just keeps it private. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea if we did a travel blog to um, to to do what you're suggesting. But I'd have to get my head around that because when I go, I get selfish. It's just like I just want to decompress when I take in the sights. See what's going on, and uh, I don't want to be vlogging, yeah. uploading. Being, not that it's that hard. Um, it's just my head's not into it. I guess the way to put it. <clears throat> Hello, and como esta? It's Christmas Hello. time. <laughs> <laughs> Starting in October, it was Christmas. Uh, September. <laughs> Hello, ladies and germs. Uh, exactly. Yeah, I think we're through all the comments. Oh, no, we're not. Thought we were done. We have a lot of comments. There. Am I behind? No, was I? There you go. I think I'm stuck. Uh, let's see. Let me go back up. Sorry. Excuse me. Let me go back through. Okay, maybe it's off to the see what. Where am I here? Oh, there I was. Okay. Greetings from Mintal, Mindanao. Hope you're well. How's the pooch? The pooch is are just fine. Here's one. Come here. Hi. Hi. Say hi to them. What do you got in your mouth? <laughs> hey, Paul, are you still in the honeymoon phase? How's the pups doing? Pups doing awesome. I don't think May and I ever got out of the honeymoon phase, to be honest with you. We just uh, we just have fun. Funny is great. I love funny people. I just love them. I really do. If you're funny, get in the car. Let's go for a drive. I can hang with you all day. It's the guys that are all depressed and angry and pissed off about something that I shy away from as quick as possible. <laughs> I don't see now. This is what I'm talking about. I mentioned that I watched your channel for years, and you apologize for that. I just want to say I have too much consideration. I accept your apology. <laughs> Alex, you're the kind of guy I want to hang out with. <laughs> Thank you to help Ken. My pleasure. All I did was send a couple of emails and make a phone call. That was it. So it was really the other people on the end. Well, this is not a dig, but did you gain a few pounds? The weight looks good right on your face. It's a little fuller. Harry Light must be treating you right. You're right. I gained, um, I was two years, I was 160 pounds from 190. I went to 160. And I was talking earlier in the stream that last month I went off the reservation and I gained like six pounds. So yesterday I said, well, enough of that. And I fasted. I haven't eaten. I probably won't eat today. So my prediction is the five or six pounds that I put on in the last five weeks, four weeks, will be gone in one week. I got it right around the middle and I guess a little bit in my face. Does May have braces? Yes, she does. Well, for the folks, look. show me braces. There you go. Yeah, because my tip is not the long space. That's why got a big gap. Yeah, that's why I'm the braces. Peso is declining because gold is going up. We're being run up by gold, I guess. But don't go up. There seems to be an aversion to water in general, but rain. Yeah. Yeah. May gets panicky when it rains and gets the umbrella out. And she's not wrong. 
Because if you get caught out in the rain, there's a good chance you'll get sick. Yeah. Because I don't know what kind of bacteria is in that rain. That rain gets picked up from one place and deposited somewhere else. And uh, it's not necessarily clean. Paul, in the process of teaching Michelle how to swim, it's a challenge, I can imagine. Filipinos don't like to swim because they don't want to get dark skin, Paul. Is that it? And breakable? Is that it? They don't want to get... Uh, okay. It makes sense. Do you know Tim K? I think if you and him did a video, it would be entertaining. I do not know Tim. Tim K is the blogger. He's a... He's a blogger. Yeah, yeah, I watch him in the YouTube. You watched him? Yeah. yeah. I think he's from Cebu or Bull. I'm not sure. I don't actually know. No. I know he got into some pissing match with somebody, but I don't I don't get in the weeds with that stuff, so I don't know. Uh Ann, yeah. The one. <laughs> he said he's funny. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're funny. Try and help love you guys. Oh, God bless you. Right. Thank you, China. God it's bless you. Time. We were just talking about the Japanese shrine. Oh. That's our annual thing that we don't video. <laughs> Baby May, the mama son of Jim McGetty. Oh, William Spice is a trolley kind of guy. So I'm the band. Usually I put him in timeout, but you attack my wife. You can hit me up all your long pal. You know. Let's see. We had turkey in the Philippines and roasted up in an open fire like a leech on a pit. Ran about three USD per pound. I prefer the pig. <laughs> I have lived at the beach for 11 years. I think I've actually gone into the sand twice. I live in Virginia. Every hero wants to be in. Yeah, that's just it, right? Um, I think, for me, the ocean is a beautiful view. I'd love to see it from my house. But I don't have any... When I was a kid, I loved the water. I loved the body surf. Um, I used to spend my summers in Coronado, down off of San Diego. And uh, loved it. You couldn't get me out of the water. That was when I was a kid. But these days... Great video. Stay well. Thank you, Joseph, very right. much. Thank you. Sun wrinkles your skin, Ann. Yeah. How does YouTube handle taxes when you are monetized? Do they make it easy? Yeah, they send you a 1099. Hey, Paul and Baby May, love your channels. Was wondering, are you planning on visiting any other Asian countries again soon? Probably uh, next year, yeah. we'll hit Kuala Lumpur. I need an older girl, then no kids. No kids. Yeah, I got one for you right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Google sends me a 1099. Good Google. Good old Google. Oh, Google. You must deal with taxes. YouTube doesn't touch it. It's on you to pay and declare. Correct, Amundo. How much do you pay for haircuts in the Philippines? Uh, my last haircut cost me one dollar. No, I got a haircut and a shave. It cost me like two dollars, and I gave another dollar tip, about um, three bucks. In the Maguiti. Yeah, here in Valencia. Ah. I knew you were looking at moving to a new place, but I seem to remember you, you put it on hold. That's true. Any new prospects gets maybe way to see if you and me will move to a new country. We're not really going for the new country thing. Um, this will always be home base. I can't justify, and we go and look at places every now and then or see them online. They want double what yeah. we're paying now. And yes, they're a little bit nicer. And yes, they have a little nicer, whatever. But at the end of the day, we're just like cool with where we are. I mean, all we do here is eat and sleep yeah. and play with the dog yeah. and watch some TV. Mm -hmm and simple life it's simple life. it's yeah. just like i don't need a bigger house to watch tv <laughs> <laughs> i don't need i would like a carport little things like that um 
I, but there's just like I can't justify it. And our rent is so inexpensive; they haven't raised it, thank God. And uh, the internet's fine. Yeah. So. The electric is good. The electric's good. Mm -hmm. So if it ain't broke, why fix it? You know, we're up the hill. Um, the only time I think we would make a change is if we bought a place. And then the water is free. <laughs> water is free. Close to free. Twenty pesos. And the magnet is very expensive. Yeah, it is, huh? Mm. Let's see. Oh, okay, here I am. Let's see. One of the crazy people from Norway here. Hello to you both. Hello, crazy person. Always okay. welcome. Norway. Don't forget the thumbs up for whatever reason. We don't know. One dollar haircuts for me here in Mindana. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Paul, wrap the birthday cake up and take it home and do what you want. Okay. <laughs> Richard, an older girl. Well, thank you very much. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but, you know. Thank you, Richard. She's 38. She's yeah, I'm getting older. Yeah, I'm well, older already. Have at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a down. Settle down. Jeez. <laughs> Northern Wisconsin. Hello. Let's see. Did they plant a garden? Yes, and yeah. it died. <laughs> and I planted potatoes, and they died. And then I planted watermelons, and they died. So no choice. No, uh, no green thumbs in this house. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think it's the soil? Do you think it's the dirt? I think the weather because the weather, yeah, the cold. Yeah, it's just weird. Yeah. So I don't know. We're just playing. The lady next door can grow <laughs> anything. So what am I talking about? Good morning from Japan. Wow, Japan. I want to Japan. Man. Old dog moving to Cebu City on February first. Just retired from the U.S. Army. Thirty-eight years old, single guy. Any advice? Yeah, go slow, brother. Enjoy it. Take in the sight. Cebu's a great place yeah. for a soft landing. It really is. Get near the uh, Ayala Mall. Talked about that a couple of videos ago. Mm -hmm. um, check out Carefree Chris. He's living up there through February. He's a super guy. Um, just take take your time, man. You know, relax. Set in the sights. Um, you're retired. You're at a young age. Just um, slow play it. Let's see, how have you adjusted to May's success being the true gem that she is? I am super proud of her. That's how I've adjusted. Every time I'm the first one to give May a compliment, I, I tell her, hey, baby May, you got a number one video. You know, she's always very happy about yeah. that. Your dogs are just going apeshit. <laughs> Good God. Hello from the Philippines. I'm a British Canadian, Canadian retired here. Well, thank you, Kevin, for coming along. Be open minded and enjoy every day, Stephen. There you go. Yeah, good advice. Hi, Paul and May from Atlanta, Georgia. Paul, I met you and Mike at Janet briefly at Tom Tom's last September. Oh. Any more moving back? Oh, that fits a pet. I thought I already did this. Um, yeah, that was just, we're going to go to the States at one point in time, but um, everything's in flux. We don't know what the future holds. Paul, how many more dogs are you getting? Do you want them or May or both? Uh, we're gonna stop at two, yeah. and uh, we don't walk them. We take them for car rides. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we let them out of the car, and they go racing around. They love the car. Well, Tada loves the car. Yes, he does. Yibby gets car sick. <laughs> Let's see. My God, Balut. Yeah, I can't stand looking at it. But she can eat it until I have not been there. No. But it's home. It's right. You and me go out to Jolly Bees. I don't care for Jolly Bees. If I was to eat fast food, which I, I don't, but it's, it would be McDonald's. You like Jolly Bees? Yeah. I like Jolly Bees. I like my inner salt. Everything I like. Yeah, main inner salt is good. Uh, yeah. It's chicken on a stick. Unlimited rice. Yes. That's not unlimited rice. <laughs> 
Goldfinger for president. Wow, Goldfinger, you're getting everything with us now. I'm gonna have to get Goldfinger over here and do a live yeah. in May. I'll just I'll just leave, and you and Goldfinger can run the whole show from here on out. How's that? Huh? I like that idea. Let's see, have any of the expats used the VA clinic? I've been living in the coffee area. I thought it's a great place to get help. Ernie, even living in, how do you say it? Butuan? But, uh, Butuan. Butuan is like Mindanao. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not military, so I don't know, but I've heard that they go to the VA and help. Oh. Hi from Cebu. My money transfer with Zoom was denied. They said I cannot transfer from the U.S. bank here in the Philippines. How do you do it? I don't know. They know I'm in the Philippines. Oh, I called them and told them I'm moving to the Philippines. That was six years ago, six and a half, seven years ago. I called them and told them that I'm going to the Philippines. And that's the whole purpose of Zoom, is to send you money around the world. So I would call them up and say, hey, what's going on? Hey, you might have a problem transferring to a bank. I don't know if that's what you're trying to do. Just send money to yourself. I don't know, brother. Well, the rain just started coming. If we go dark out of nowhere, it's because of a brownout. It's just down in the rain. Paul, great to hear you avoiding carbs. I do like 388 peso steak at Moon Cafe. They will sub more carrots and green beans in place. That's what I do, brother. When I go to the Moon Cafe, what do I order? Petite mm -hmm. filet mignon with extra vegetables. Right on. Goldfinger feels like a James Bond villain. We should call this the Goldfinger video. <laughs> I got my free turkey from ShopRite, but I had to pay for it. It was 99 cents a pound. All this talk about it are, is overblown. Well, good for you, Big Dave. Glad to hear you got a deal. Goldfinger is a James Bond villain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. He is in the original film. How old is your dad now? 98. You're an inspiration to many who would like to know there. God bless you both. Well, thank you very much, Dennis. I'm going on two years. Love it all. Good on you, brother. Good morning to you. My Here's uh, Roy. Hi, Roy. Roy, Wild Man Roy. Costco, Roy will like it. Okay. May would love Walmart. Yeah, she would. Love the food in Thailand. So yeah. do I. So does I love, she. Yeah, I love it. That and I love no, it. no disrespect to the Philippines, but the food there is just off the hook and here it's just kind of ooh. hello from north carolina hometown chaton ah chaton rock on chaton hello sean tuber usa is also becoming more strict like the value you now need to be 21 by cigarettes and chewing tobacco in north dakota wow not that I'm pro smoking, but you know, I got caught up in it back in the 50s, 60s. So, anyway, I was thinking someone going through the motions before they pull the pin. Thanks. I was thinking of someone going through the motions. I don't know what that means. Hey, Sean Tuber, are you expecting? We're not expecting. <laughs> Okay, I think you guys are talking. <laughs> thank you, bro. Don't keep it and God bless and thank you me for the service it means a lot. I would like to meet up if possible. Sure, man. Come out here, we'll hook up. Yeah, with a thirteen A, but I'm gonna have to have the old throwaway ticket if she's not with me. It's no big deal. Good to um onwardticket.com it's like 14 bucks how's the food at cafe cafe ratio i think you mean racer it's under construction uh, right now they're remodeling yeah hey paul is and the star of the show that was an amazing interview with chad today 
That was the search for property. I really enjoyed the interview with Chad, and I was really kind of disappointed in how low of views it got. So whatever. Um, people people that tuned into it watched it for over 15 minutes. That's how good it was. I mean, the average view time on a video is somewhere between seven and nine minutes. And for someone to watch for like 12 minutes is a lot. And with Chad, it cracked. It was like 15, almost 16 minutes. So we had a really good conversation. He's very, very articulate. And he expressed himself very succinctly, intelligently. And it was entertaining. So I hope you guys will take the time and check out my last interview with Chad. <clears throat> um, the search for property is rocking right along. Uh, but we don't ever speak about anything until it actually happens. But yeah, we're very encouraged with the property search. Let's see what I, okay, yeah. Like a Zoom meeting here in Canada. I go to Walmart just to watch all the circus freaks. It's very entertaining. I'm a people watcher too. So I could hang out at Walmart, and just sit like at a McDonald's if they have one and have a cup of coffee and watch the world go by. Is there an Irish community in Dumaguete? No. It's just me and little Michael. <laughs> <laughs> the only two Irishmen out here. <laughs> you can come and go out of the yeah, 13A, yeah. <clears throat> Are prices still going up there? I would say they've stabilized. I say they shot up about 30, 35%. Depends on which venue you're in. Food went up a lot. Yeah. Gas went up. Um, I think just about everything yeah, is exactly. either more expensive or smaller portions. But I saw the biggest impact with food. But it seems to have tapered, not tapered off. Yeah, yeah, leveled off. It's not going up anymore. Without May, yeah, yeah, I gotta have a ticket. February to May, plane ticket is dirt cheap. Weather clears up. Mm -hmm. There you go. Paul, well, many Americans are married to Filipinas who have no interest in living in America. Since you interact with the embassy, why don't you tell the visa officers not to hassle our wives? <laughs> Well, that good get a relationship with them. I'm primarily there for emergencies. Um, and it's, I, you know, I don't want to get into a big long tirade here, but I really think just the whole immigration laws in America need to be addressed um, as far as getting people in, especially, you know, from, from benign countries like the Philippines. Inflation is here, but it's not bad if you come with dollars. Just got an apartment for 80 USD monthly. Inflation is relative. Yeah. To visit, not girlfriends. Okay. Hello. Philippine life with Janet. Yeah. yeah. How are oh, you? That's Janet. Yeah. Philippine with Philippine life with That's Janet. a new uh, logo. That's Janet. What is your favorite? Filipino food. What's your favorite Filipino food? I don't have one. Spaghetti. Spaghetti? Yeah. Okay. Just get your permanent residency. It's not hard. First year's probation. Yeah, that's what I got. That's coming. Hey, let me talk, bro. Okay. <laughs> we want you to talk more. He want, uh, HG wants you to talk. What do you want to tell HG? What's that? Mean? See why I do all the talking? <laughs> Hello from Indianapolis, Indiana. Morning, Paul and May. Philip from Malolos. There you go. See, she's talking. Malolos. Malolos in Manila, Bulacan. Ah, yeah. okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're settled, so happy, and living well. Did you get new glasses? Um, Actually, these. Are kind of these are for my cataract. I use the other ones, my old old ones. I have to use because there's a big green dot that shows yeah. up on them if I use a backlight because they're 
transitional. Hey, well, I can't believe you caught us live either. Thanks for coming along, Rick. I like the red t-shirt, Paul. Red looks good on you, dude. Thank yeah. you very much. I think red and gray goes good, right? Yeah. So, those are black, red, those are kind of the colors I think too because of my gray hair. White hair, I guess I should say. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. <laughs> right there. Ching everything, Claude. Can't believe you're awake. <laughs> Please subscribe to yeah. my sister channel. Check out Jing and everything vlog. Mm -hmm. See my uh, her interview with me. Yeah, it's very funny in the video. <laughs> mm -hmm. Poor Jing. She didn't know what to do. I may have told the camera and laughing the whole time. The little video is like this. Because I'm laughing too. <laughs> <laughs> is the wages going up for the locals? Was there last year? Never know. I mean, the supermarket was easily gone. Price seems to be 30% plus, yeah, higher than before the pandemic. Definitely it's up 30%. And I don't think wages have gone up to to uh, complement that at all. No. How many miles are on your car now? I don't know miles. I know kilometers. I'm at 8,800 kilometers right now. And uh, next month it'll be a year old. Greetings from Cebu. Cebu. How are you? How are you? Couldn't agree more. We never hang out with negative people, always joking with others and having a good time. Life is way too short for that. Not that right. I mean, if somebody's got a legit problem, I'm more than happy to sit down and empathize, sympathize, listen to them, uh, feel bad for them, you know, uh, offer help. But just a bitch for the sake of bitching, I, I can't take it. <laughs> I'd be a student if you offered Paul's school of laughter. <laughs> was your wife already from Dumaguete? My wifey crew was from Sheffield. Yeah. Which is an hour Shower. away. One, one hour from here. In one hour from here. Shadow. I know you used to live here in Cebu. I never lived in Cebu. I was there for a couple of days. We visited, but we never lived here. There. I mean. Kim K lives in Leyte. Oh, okay. Don't tell him to reach out to me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get together. We'll hang out. Yeah. Northern Leyte. And in big troubles, Kim K. Got trouble. Late. Late. Literally distilled water is falling out of the sky. Yeah, I don't know, man. Whenever we go out in the rain and get caught in it, we get sick. So I don't know what's going on. Hey, it's possible to get. Yeah, no yeah, they do. They do. We don't have a microwave, but <laughs> we've had we had one back at Big Rock. Yeah, and we made a microwave popcorn. Now. Popcorn. But yeah, they get like Jolly Time mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. What is the latest with Baby May's driving escapades? Well, um, what is the latest with your driving? Oh, the driving scooter. Yeah, you I tell know. them why go to the <laughs> scooter. Over. Take over the take over the the job. I think it's Russian. So baby May is going to be talking to you. She's going to sing a song and dance. <laughs> Driving lesson uh, only uh, only the quarter. I driving the Bahong Highway, but the car not really. Thank you, David, for question. Lady Paul, hurry up. I don't know how to use the computer. <laughs> Mark.
350 and the house and a uh, box. All right, I'm gonna LTD. It. It's very clear the light here. Is it good now? All right. How'd she do? Better than Dean? <laughs> I left him alone. <laughs> Let's see. I'm five nine two forty. I can use a diet. I should do a diet video. Nothing special, really. But what I did, what, I, what motivated me, and all that kind of stuff. What would be the best way to start a search for an old connection in a long topo? I live in Naval Bay, Civic Bay. I want to come back, maybe. So you're looking to find somebody that's an old connection. You know who would be good at that is Blair and Leia. They have a way. If they have, It's called Blay. Blair and Leah Slog, not Blog, S L O G. And they have a deal where they're connecting people with um, long lost fathers, etc. So that might be somebody you could turn to. Paul, I've not seen your channel for a while. Did you find a car? Yeah, a year ago. <laughs> it has been a while since you tuned in. <laughs> That's okay. I have all my chambers. There's a BFW in Angeles. Okay. Have you considered residing in South America? Ecuador offers a straightforward path. I talked about Ecuador. My friend Biff loves Ecuador. So that would definitely be on my radar. My haircut is free. I've been cutting my own hair for over 15 years. There you go. If you had $1,000 a month, would you move to Thailand? Hmm, it's such a good question, and it's so hard to answer, man, because it's so much depends on your personality, lifestyle, age, health, you know, habits. Um, if you're into the girly bars and beer, no way. You've gone on a weekend. Um, if you want to live low, yeah, but it's, it's just one of those questions I can't answer. $1,000 was big back in like 10 years ago. It's just changed a lot since then. I say 2000 but 1500 will work. Uh, Thailand, probably on par with the Philippines. <coughs> I think the dog wants to go for a walk. dog wants to go for a ride in the car. So yeah. The dog wants. <laughs> Bacala has the most brownouts. It's a great place to live. Cool. We went to Bacala for a day. Joe and Melanie here. Greetings from Balin Pinan, Balincia. Close there. You remember the road is close there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a hideout, right? No. no? Different. different. Okay. Going to the waterfalls. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Joe, Joe. Name, yeah, YouTube. it's funny you mentioned your house is right size. My friend actually had a room added to his house to fit his big screen TV. <laughs> Forty-five thousand dollar house upgrade for a thousand dollar TV. Unreal, huh? That's what Chad and I were talking about on our blog about minimalists. I don't follow you often. Hardly see your spouse. But you've got a great wife. Well, thanks, I guess. At <laughs> least <laughs> 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 <If> you're honest. <laughs> you can't say you're a hypocrite. <laughs> Joke for you all. Most people pick their nose. I was born with mine. <laughs> That's a good one. Sometimes I wake up grumpy. Other times I let her sleep in. That's my joke of the day. Good morning from South Louisiana. Good morning, guys. How are you? Thanks, old dog. You're very welcome. I don't know what I did, but you're welcome. Asian women age so much better than everyone else. Yes, they do. Is there any more else? I get that question a lot, and you know, many expats, man. Um, well, I understand there's like 1.1 million expats in the Philippines. Um, I do know that 
from my little conversations with the embassy, five to eight expats die every day, every day. Yeah, from the COVID. No, not necessarily from the COVID, baby, but from uh, old age, heart attacks, high um, blood, all that. Eight to ten of us guys mm -hmm. die every day in the Philippines. Um, I think the big rush was back February, March, April, May, and all that when it first opened up, and I saw a lot of guys coming in. And now I see it tapering down. And I don't see, a, if you go to an expat friendly place, like the aforementioned Ground Zero, where I recommend people go if they come to Dunaketti, you'll be able to meet a lot of foreigners there that'll help you. They're, they're very kind, nice, generous men. But if you go to Hypermart or Robinson's yeah. or Lee Plaza, I look out and there's a sea of brown faces and one or two guys like me, you know? So, um, I don't think there's any big flood, to be honest with you. A lot of guys are, are going to um, Thailand. Yeah, Thailand. That's been a popular destination. 361 people watching. Click the like button. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hydrate, bend at the knees. And we don't know why we ask for likes on the live stream. It's a tradition, like Thanksgiving. So come on, join the tradition. Hit the like button. And um, you win the prize. <laughs> May looks like she's 20. Amen. She does. That's very oh, young. thank you, Dave. You just made a new Dave. friend, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> You're my best friend now. <laughs> Compliments go very far with May. <laughs> Michael. Michael, you're welcome, sir. Philippine mm -hmm. sounds great, but I've really missed autumn here in the U.S. I wonder how common six. Often, oh, oh, dude, it's it's getting more and more common. Um, six and six, eight and four, three and nine, any combination. Um, I think that is the ideal situation. If you've got a bought and paid for house and the property taxes are low, um, either you rent it out or you have a caretaker well, so it's not empty, empty, and you can bug in here for six months, call it, and then go back home for six months during good weather. In other words, you know, be a snowbird, get out of the winter, and then go back when it's beautiful, see your family. I think that's the ultimate way to go. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I broke both arms, legs, and my back pressing the like button. Hell, mm -hmm. I knew it. I knew it. See? You don't want injuries. You bend at the knees, buddy. Hydrate. Just keep hydrating. It'll get better. How did you come up with the name Yippee? Yippee. Um, I thought it went along well with Tada. <laughs> I thought it should be a celebration. Tada! And Yippee! Next one's going to be Oh No. Paul and May Random, crazy people, have a great day. You too, brother. Love you a long time, Babs. Come see us again soon. Or when I get down to Elo, we'll come yeah. uh, hang out with you. Hello, hello. Do you have a good restaurant? The name Very is, good restaurant. The name is Monkey House. Yeah. Monkey, monkey something. Like Monkey House. Yeah, monkeys. They have monkeys. The burger is very delicious. Oh, I man, she can't stop talking about this friggin' hamburger. <laughs> 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 and they offered a keto diet. Yeah. They had two menus. They had a keto menu. Which was Very close in the hotel. Cita super hotel. close. Where we were at Cedar? Yeah. Cedar. Love the Cedar door. Hotel, by the way. Guys, if you go to Evo, go to the Cedar Hotel. So for Fifty game. bucks a night. Great buffet. Yeah. Great everything. May loves a good buffet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I eat a lot. <laughs> 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 May, May's first buffet. She goes, You got to eat all I want. I don't have to pay extra. So no. Nah. So she went back like six times. <laughs> you know, I said, it's okay, I think out. I think. <laughs> yeah. She's trying to put it in her purse, you know. <laughs> no, man. No, no, no. Food here. <laughs> Just hit the like button. They will sing a song for us all. I didn't know how to go. Oh, only TikTok. <laughs> only TikTok. Let me do a TikTok dance for you. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Is the only place with an overseas VA hospital. I didn't know that. 
We're gonna have to wrap this up, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Because you gotta be nine. Nine o'clock. Yeah. And it's eight o'clock and you gotta get appointment. ready. Appointment. She's got an appointment at nine kids. Is that baby May or a little girl? <laughs> when it's Aries is starting to look good. A lot of places are changing up, man. Go to the top ten places to retire. Philippines didn't make the list, mm -hmm. but other places are. Interesting. I use my credit card to send money on Zoom to the Philippines. It's six dollars per transfer. Yeah. 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 I do one transfer per month, whack. And that's it. We got our, our money. VPN used to transfer. That might help. Been happily married to my Filipino Josephine for 24 years. I've watched both your channels for a while. We were watching together. Thank you both. Thank Josephine you. does not know how to swim either. <laughs> uh, 37 years old and smoking. Go, Paul, go. Love you long time too, Mark. <laughs> I'm going to have to bail out, guys. I'm sorry. She's got some place to be. Um, and I know everybody gets mad. I don't get to the comment. I was going as fast as I possibly could. So please don't get mad and unsubscribe. Uh, we'll go down to the bottom and kind of work our way up. I'm sorry, guys. Let's see. Well, we've got it's 808. If you guys yeah. stop commenting, we could. Which I hate to say, but I try to hit all these comments, but me being long winded, you know. Yeah, that's uh, USAA Bank, $45 for transfer. Seems like your video is not in focus still. I thought we cleaned the lens. It's snowing outside in Oklahoma. Hey, Rob. I'm going to blast through this real quick. Watch this. Good morning. Yours was the first vlog from Jim I watched. If my mood goes bad, I'll blame you. Why, why not? <laughs> Baby May's channel seems successful with so many subscribers. Yeah, she's having Thank a great time. Thank you, Don. Yeah, people go, hey, I moved to Filmageddy because of you. And the first words I go are, how do you like it? <laughs> they go, I like it. I go, okay, then I'll take the credit for it. <laughs> hey, Paul, I'm sure you have run into kids from the school system there, education side, where you see the kids act the same or more polite. Way more polite. Oh, uh, night and day. Night and day. You look better now with a couple of pounds on. It's only four pounds, five pounds. Thank you, bud. Uh, oh, well, increasing the purpose so of our city was good at when the clouds were sinking. Insider suggested Sunday. Mm. Okay. I don't talk much and don't comment much. I'm the same way. I talk a lot, but I don't comment much. But enjoy your videos. You start some videos for saying hello to everyone and last saying crazy people. So I am the fun type of crazy. God bless you, Viking and Norway. I love crazy and I love funny. Al Bundy for president. I agree. Al Bundy should rule the world. <laughs> when I watch your videos, I watch about three minutes to think that doesn't apply to me. Or I watch all of it. That's because good. That's right. That's how I am. If I turn on someone's video and I think, well, uh, I don't need to know this. I bail out. Good on you. Let's see. Property, I thought you were looking abroad. I just been to see you. We will always have this as a home base. Whether we go to live abroad for a year or two, it would not be a permanent move anywhere that we go. Philippines will always be home um, for her. Yeah, her family's here. Yeah. Her roots are here. Her language. Uh, she would not be comfortable in Spain or America or Jamaica. I don't care where you put it, just because of the language and the customs. And uh, so Philippines is it. Does not mean that we wouldn't bail out for a year or two and try some, some slow travel. Let's see. Is Hanson still in Jimmy Who's Hanson? You know Hanson? I don't know. I don't either. I think Blogger. Getting ready to retire. Good thing, man.
do an interview with a person in the West via Zoom here in Canada. Bottom line, it's just more expensive. I would disagree with that. I have a Toyota that's been good, a good car enough power, three cylinders. Yeah, yeah. Little Rigo. It bugs all over the place. Uh, probably. I'm not sure about the lag, but I know at the beginning it lags. Okay, so there's a gentleman talking to you, vets, about drug care. Food costs twice as much. Produce is much more than we get. More than my uncle does. Two thirty nine again in Missouri. Tuna is over four dollars a gallon. Well, I agree with you. Petrol is more expensive here in the Philippines, but I don't know what you're paying for rent, internet, cable, taxes, etc. Will Tricare cover in the PI? I don't know. When are you going to catch up? When are you going to catch up to Mark Thornton and his wife and be expecting a baby? When are we going to be expecting a baby? Up to God, right, baby? Yeah, up to God. Any thoughts of visiting Japan? I think about it a lot. Then I look at how much it costs. And that thought passes. <laughs> Let it go gray, but not away. Right on. Ching everything, blog. Oh, you thank you. No, that's dangerously active. Oh, okay. She is taken. Yeah, she's a taken. Oh, yeah, the Fiesta. Everybody loved the Fiesta. Yeah, we started being the mud with you. Thank you, dangerously active. Sailing lesson? I don't know. Then Bobo Bay. There you go. 5,500 miles. Results featured, okay. Yeah, I don't have any <laughs> mirrors in the house. <laughs> I asked Bill, I don't have to watch anyone complain anymore. That would be you, right? Hi, Paul, what do you think of something that expats in the Philippines want to have? Can be a thing or a service? That's a good question. Um, a lot of food products they're missing, but I don't know how to prepare that. Um, uh, oh, man, I would have to think on that. That's a very good question. Um, but I, I don't have a, I don't have a report. Thank you, Star Child, for the super sticker. Yeah, thank you. The guy you helped expatriate back to the U.S., how's he doing? That is in his own touch. Yes, I just talked to him. I wished him a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, he's coming back uh, once his Social Security kicks in. How is family in Chateau? Very good. good. Everybody's proven. Financial independence, fire, retire early. Um. They want 14,000 pesos to renew my insurance on my car. I don't think it's mandatory. You have to have a registered car. You have current uh, driver's license. That's a very good question. I was asking myself that question. Is it mandatory out here? Because if it's not, I'm not going to buy it. Because I, for 14,000 pesos, I can pay a lot of, lot of damage. Love your channel. More with Goldfinger Gold Company. <laughs> we start calling this the Goldfinger Channel. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, May and Paul. Shout out watching from Australia. My husband is addict watching your blog. He's thinking of doing a nice place to live. Uh, well, just come on out for a uh, a visit. And if you like it, say hi. And yeah. if you don't, avoid me. <laughs> 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 mm. My brother just retired to the Philippines. Good. Greetings from Alabama. I'll be back in January. Cool. It's Danny from Massachusetts. How are you, Danny? Danny. May is doing great. Keep up the great work. Even if you Thank have to hit the CR. Mark. Yeah, she's doing good. She doesn't like me leaving her alone because of her English, but you know. I hope you do. Come. Thank you very much. I'm trying to get through all the comments. 
Thanks for helping Q Adventures with his friend Ken with getting him on his way back to his country. My pleasure. Hi, Paul and Baby, Baby May. Very hard to eat the Guru's diet, the great food diet. You only need to eat one meal a day. Check him out. I have fallen for quite some time. I have been to the Isha Center. All right. Well, I only eat one meal a day also. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, yeah, Social Security is supposed to be not out of money, but what's the word? Uh, where they might have to cut benefits by 25%. They don't do something about it. It's not going to be bankrupt, but it's going to be negative returns. Hey, Paul. Hey, Daniel. Daniel. Hey, Paul and wife. There you are. Any word on John? John's doing good. I just wished him a happy Thanksgiving. Good morning from Benton, Tennessee. Hope to be there marrying my Filipina here this month. Great. Kisses from RJ or Arch. I have a place in Tana. I'll come invade your space sometime. Rock on, Daddy. Oh. I clicked the like button only because of peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> peer pressure will make you do things you don't want to do, Daniel. Sorry about that, boss. <laughs> I'm addicted to the like button. Oh, now we're getting there somewhere. <laughs> These are the comments I've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah, Dumaghetti has really got it. A good little little setup. It's small and large. It's got mm -hmm. city. It's got country. It's got beach. It's got mountains. Need I say more? <laughs> Face orange biting nails. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means, but okay. Looks like you're related to Pope John Paul. Paul, you're so cool. Pope John Paul. So let's chat the panel, Paul. I interviewed Rike. I'd like to be on the Sea of Eyes Experience page. Would love to interview you guys one day. Well, no problem. Go on down. We're always up for an interview. What's up with the dude we helped get home? He got home, and he's uh, been there working and doing well. Good morning from Odessa, Sorry. Texas. I just woke up from a nap. I didn't know I was going to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> How does May stay thin if she likes to eat so much? You got yeah, that. I like I like eat. I don't know. No diet. <laughs> Where can expats seeking to rent out their place for six months find average uh, Facebook marketplace? Good night, folks. Stay safe. Good yeah, we're going to start signing night. off here, kids. Thanks for coming along. Uh, appreciate everything, all the comments, all that. Uh, yeah, that is the beautiful baby May <laughs> next to me here. On our little live stream. What does that say? Japan. Japan lifestyle with Bing. Ohio. Sorry. Is it true the Philippines there's not a credit system like credit cards, mortgages? Um, yes and no. You can use your credit card in large places like Robinsons, but local establishments, restaurants, most of them don't take it. And mortgages, they have. But only for locals. <coughs> Here's a super chat just because I like you guys. Well, very verify 950. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate you. There's Joe Spice. Just Good morning, bye. Paul. Hey, Tada. And Yippee. We've been hanging out with Joe for a yeah. while. And we'll be seeing him again. He's been out with Monty. He's been out with us. He's been with Jane. Yeah. Uh, Joe Spice is busting a move. Yeah. And he's going to be our neighbor pretty soon. He's going to be down there around Latina. Mm. So um, we love Joe Spice. Yeah. We're going to be hanging with him. That's very nice. So he goes on. Your camera just came in with focus. Yeah, you had to clean the lens. I don't know what was going on. Sorry about that. He interviewed a couple years back in which you told your life story. I'm so happy that you have found peace in the world the fourth quarter of your life. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. The dogs are. You know, obviously, not going to let us finish this. 
And Baby May's got to get going anyway. We're trying to Baby May. Mark Thompson, chill. Can't wait to come over and say hi from Canada. Well, come on over, Mark. Scouting it out, Raul, is a very, very good idea. Ben Davis for president. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joseph Perez, thank you very much for the super sticker. We appreciate that. Hello from Davao. Oh, Davao. Five years and counting, right on. Let's see. Is there a sales tax here? Yes. I don't know what the rate is, though. Yeah, look at it. Never paid attention. Love the channel. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Good morning to you Good morning. and greetings from Holland. Wow, all over the place. Is it true if you have children on the USA and Philippines, if something happens to you and your spouse, only your Philippines children would inherit? I think it would all be dictated upon a will. Fuel is five bucks a gallon in California. I have cheap. Unless you eat like a local Philippines, as cheap as you think. It was just there. The good old days are gone. Yeah, man. I watched. I was here during the good old days. And watched them kind of slide away as far as money goes. As far as inflation, and food costs, cheap stuff. It's not that cheap anymore, kids. Well, oh, baby, it's been great visiting you tonight, but I have to leave and make some dinner. Take care and good night. Good night, good my night, friend. Linda. And we're taking off, too. How much were the braces? The braces were... For down payment? 20,000 no, yeah. no, no, 20, total or yeah. 40. Do you remember? I forget. I have the recipe. <laughs> well, you put down 10,000, right? Yeah. Or okay. 20. Thank you. You put down 20? Yep. I think they were 800 pesos. I mean, 8,000, 80,000 pesos? For the cash? Yeah. So it was 80,000 pesos, 75 cash. So, 40, 100, so about 75,000 pesos. That's why we bought a, a Babo. Frank, oh, Frank, you'll take the eight leaders. We get 200 miles driving locally here and do them up lunch. And yeah, yeah. I get 50 miles to the gallon in my little wheel. Number one, always. Bye. See you later, Daddy O. Bye. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for not unsubscribing. <laughs> this is what usually happens. Bye bye, Michael. Let's see. Looking for Mr. Han. I don't know who Mr. Hanson is. Good night, guys. Yeah, Jules. Thank you, guys, for commenting. Yep, baby May just keeps on keeping on. I enjoy your videos. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't need braces. I need veneers. Have you done video at local food? We'll get an idea. Local cuisine. No, but I bet you may will. You actually go over all your chats. You totally are the man. Enjoy your day. Thank you very much. We're trying our best to stay on top of this. Yeah, but I got to go at some point in time. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night, good night. What is this all about? <laughs> That's a great ending question. <laughs> we'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> All right. All right, yippee.